Good afternoon. The mayors of Toronto and Ottawa could soon be given so-called strong mayor powers under new rules by the Ontario government. The province set to introduce legislation today that would give the mayors stronger authority around the council table. The Ford government says it's a way to get housing built more quickly. The premier has previously said two-thirds of a city council would be able to overrule a mayor under such a system. With more on how this would work, here's CTV's Siobhan Morris. When a new council settles into City Hall after the fall election, the person sitting at the mayor's desk will wield more power. Legislation coming this afternoon will give the mayors of Toronto and Ottawa veto power over council decisions. It's an idea that's been on the Premier's wish list since he was a city councillor. I just think it's a, the right thing to do. Since all the responsibility uh, falls on, on the mayor, uh, he needs the ability and the responsibility to, to make decisions. In yesterday's speech from the throne, the government presented the powers as a way to break log jams and get more homes built. Strong mayor systems will empower municipal leaders to work more effectively with the province to reduce timelines for development, standardize processes and address local barriers to increasing the supply of housing. The Premier has suggested the powers could be given to more mayors down the road. We are expecting a way for councils to keep mayors in check. My approach to being there, uh, if I'm continuing in this job, will not change. Uh, and that is to work with people, uh, but the, the objective being to get more things done faster, especially when it comes to things like uh, housing. The opposition is skeptical that this legislation will move the needle and get more houses built. New Democrats see it as a distraction from what's happening in health care. At Queen's Park, Siobhan Morris, CTV News. And join now to talk more about this, our mayor, Jim Watson. I mean, it sounds great for those in your position, more power to you, literally, or to your successor, but you are not convinced you actually urged Ford to drop this plan. Yeah, Patricia, it's really a solution looking for a problem. We didn't ask for additional powers. I didn't ask for additional powers as mayor. Uh, I've worked well over the last three terms of council. We've got about 98.2% of the issues that I brought forward for votes have passed. And we're a consensus-based government. It's not a, a unanimous government. We don't always agree, but I would suggest about 90% of the, the votes that have been taken over the last uh, three terms have been, in fact, unanimous. Con controversial issues, obviously, tend to be more, more divisive. But uh, we've never asked for this power. As I said, I've worked very well uh, to get a majority of members of council to support particular initiatives. And uh, as I said, uh, it, I don't know how it's going to help housing to have more powers uh, to bring legislation through faster, I suppose. But it hasn't really been explained to us and we're given no heads up about it. Uh, well, that was my next question. I mean, certainly Ford has, has focused on the housing issue. You don't see it solving a problem around housing and, and bumping up the housing supply in big cities like Ottawa and Toronto? Well, look, at if uh, you know the, the province wants to increase uh, housing, they can do a couple of things. They provide more funding because it costs money to build houses and, and the province has greater financial capacity than a, a municipality does. Secondly, uh, they can allow us to implement inclusionary zoning in and around the city, not just the transit areas. And what that does is it's allowed more intensification in a built up area. We have that now with transit stations. A good example, Patricia, is uh, at, the, at the Blair station, the LRT station, where you've got uh, two new apartment buildings that have gone up just literally a stone's throw away. That's transit oriented development where we build around a transit hub. We're doing the same in Westboro. Those are the kinds of things we can do now. But if the province wants us to really up our game in terms of providing more affordable housing, more powers for the mayor is not going to do it. What they need to do is to allow us uh, to uh, build around areas uh, and, and in essence call it inclusionary zoning in essence allow uh, builders to build maybe two or three stories more and make sure that a good percentage of those houses are considered affordable housing that's how you're going to build more housing not giving a mayor and i think the other final point is you know i'm probably in a good position to to speak on this because uh, i'm not uh, going to be the mayor that you know potentially gets these new powers right. i would suggest and I think we've seen from the leading candidates, with, the, with one exception, that most of them say they don't want these powers in any event. And just very quickly, I mean, they didn't campaign on this. A lot of people scrambling to figure out how it works. At, at face value, some people would think it's undemocratic. You talk about a consensus-based system around the table and the possibility that it would uh, take two-thirds of council to overturn a veto from the mayor. I is that what bothers you about it? It's too much power to one person? 
Yeah, and it really, you know, takes away what we have right now as a check and balance system. You know, members of council can hold me and my office to account. And uh, I think that's a good system. But if, if they have to gather up two thirds of their members to overturn a mayor's decision, that's not really democratic at all. Uh, I'm not sure where this came from. I, I suspect probably when Mr. Premier Ford was on uh, Toronto Council, they probably were frustrated with lots of votes that they perhaps were not successful in. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I think maybe Toronto has exceptional circumstances. Maybe they do need it there because it's such a large city mm. population wise. But certainly in Ottawa, I've met no one in the last uh, 12 years that said, would you like more power and would you support asking for more power? And my answer, if I was asked that, would be absolutely not. Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your time, Patricia.